In this video, we will go over how to use Google Takeout to export your Google data. While Google Takeout supports the export of data from various Google services, I'm going to concentrate on Google Drive. Go to your drive. If you aren't already signed in, sign in now. Before exporting your data, you may want to take a look at your Shared With Me folder. Items that are in Shared With Me won't be exported when you use Takeout. If there are items in Shared With Me that you want to take with you, you'll need to make a copy of them. Go to Shared With Me, then check the boxes to the left of any items you want to make a copy of. Click the More button, and then click Make a Copy. Copies of the selected items will be placed in your drive. It's important to note that if the item you're making a copy of is in a shared folder that you have edit access to, the copy will stay in that shared folder after you create it. In that situation, you'll need to drag the copy into your drive after you create it. When you're sure you have everything you need in your drive, do a Google search for Takeout. The first result should be Google Takeout. Click it. Since you're already signed into Drive, you shouldn't have to log in again. You have two options for exporting your data. All of your data is the default and will generate a zip file that contains all of your data from all services that are currently supported by Takeout. Choose Services allows you to only export data from the services you choose. I'm going to select this option for this example because I'm only interested in exporting my files that are currently on Google Drive. When I click the Google Drive button, a card will appear above it summarizing the contents of my drive. You can click the Configure button to see all the options available to you when exporting your data. The first section you'll find is titled Folders. You can choose Download All of Your Drive Files to include everything under My Drive or Download a Single Top Level Folder. This option allows you to specify a single folder in your drive to include in your download. All of the items and subfolders of this parent folder will be included in your download as well. The next section is titled File Types. Because Google Doc file types cannot be downloaded and stored in their native format, they need to be converted. This is where we will specify what formats to use for each file type. Other files stored in drives, such as PDFs or MPEG files, will be downloaded in their current format. I'd recommend using the Microsoft file types where available. They provide the best mix of retained fidelity and versatility for the average user. They are usable with the Microsoft Office suite and can be easily uploaded and converted back to native Google Drive files using a personal Google account or Google Apps account with another school or organization. If you're not familiar with the different image types, I'd suggest setting drawing to PNG image. When you have everything configured the way you want it, click the red Create Archive button at the bottom of the screen. You will be presented with a progress bar while your data is being converted. When complete, click the blue Download button. You will be prompted to enter your password for security purposes. Do so, then click Sign In. A single zip file containing the data you specified will be downloaded to the default download location. In this case, my desktop. I'd suggest giving this zip file an applicable name, so you'll know exactly what it is. Let's take a quick look at the contents of this zip file. As you can see, I have all the folders and files that were in my drive. Google Documents, Drawings, Forms, Presentations, and Spreadsheets have been converted to the formats I specified. Other file types were kept in their original format. Take this zip file and move it to a flash drive or another cloud storage service. From there, you can decompress the files on your personal computer and use them in their current format. If you choose to do so, you could upload them to another Google account and convert them back to Google Docs formats.